Hello and welcome to Orient Outreach. I'm your host, Stacey Calloway, and today I'm joined by two esteemed guests. I have Holly Nicosia, who is the Executive Director of the Orient Art Center, and Mr. Mac Faulkner, Faulkner, I should say, who is the children's author and illustrator as well as a graphic novelist. Thank you guys for being with us today. Thank Thanks you very much. Us. It's good to be here. Absolutely. You know, this is um, an exciting holiday time, right? Mm -hmm. And so with all of that going on, there's a lot of different art projects and different challenges. And you guys have a specific one that's about to take place. Talk to me about um, the name of your art challenge and mm -hmm. how did it all come about? Um, so the, the challenge is called the 24-hour art challenge, and it's being hosted by the Orion Art Center. And it came about because uh, quite, a f quite a few years ago, the other host, I'm one of the people, uh, call him the MC, is Eugene Clark. He and I both were teaching at CCS, the College for Creative Studies, and we started to talk about community building and this thing I did in college, which was called a charrette, which was you had a certain period of time, everybody had to stay in the same place and all work on the same creative problem. And um, we, we said, why, why can't we do that here? And Eugene had done um, submitted artwork to the Art Prize in Grand Rapids, which is a, you know, a big competition that happens once a year. And so we said, we need to do that here. We need to do something like that. And the idea of getting both high school students all the way through to elders, you know, anybody who wants to create and give them 24 hours and have a, a prize, cash prizes, and um, get this camaraderie thing going, get people who are creative uh, a sense of, as I said, community, you know, because it's so often as artists we can be isolated. Um, and so this was the, the impetus for this, you know, like, and so we, we found Holly and we said, hi, <laughs> do you guys want to do this? And they were like, yeah, we're all about that. So Holly, what intrigued you about this art challenge? Well, I agree with Matt, the community aspect of it with being a local nonprofit, the Orient Art Center, one of our main missions is bringing art into our community and giving artists a place, a home to create and to collaborate and share their work. And I mean, it just made sense. It was a perfect partnership and we're so excited to be doing it this year. Okay, and then talk to us about, you mentioned that high school students and even people who are um, of a certain age can do this. Give us the age requirements and how much does it cost to join? The youngest we've set at 14. And then there's no limit going all the way up, of course. And so um, we do have uh, two age groups for application fee. The application fee is $50 for 22 and under, and then 23 and up, it's um, $100. Okay, and would you say that you have people who have already started applying? Mm-hmm. Are they excited? Yeah, we've been going, well, the primary place we've been going to is high schools, and uh, they're geeked in short <laughs> okay <laughs> you know uh, Eugene and I you know as college teachers know how to get people excited about creative projects and so you know we also have money at the uh, other end of this so okay. the, these kids are like yeah I want to do this so yeah so so take us through the the night because it's going to be February 3rd and February 4th 24 hours mm -hmm. people are going to come in and then what are they going to see you know, one of the things, and as we were talking before, you know, this uh, was a project runway, right? You know, this idea that um, a bunch of people get together, they also stay in the same place, and then they're given a prompt, a problem, a creative problem. Um, and so everybody will show up around 10, 11 a.m. We'll get to know each other. Um, we're shooting for anywhere from 50 to 100 people, more too, if we, you know, if we, we'll figure out a place to put everybody. Okay. The first hour is get to know each other, and then it, noon the alarm goes off everybody gets the individual prompt and everybody has to make the same um, scale it's 11 inches by 14 inches piece um, and for five hours we'll sit there creating in the same space then we'll have some pizza and then we'll kick everybody out and they have to go from 5 until 10 a.m., 5 p.m. till 10 a.m. the next morning. They have that time to create this thing. People can do it traditionally, any materials on a, a two-dimensional 11 by 14, or digitally. The one condition on digital is that uh, artificial intelligence cannot be used, mm -hmm. and we'll um, figure out a way to k make sure that that doesn't happen for everybody's sake. And then, um, did, I, did we say how much people could win? No, That's, no, we haven't. I was going to that. <laughs> Do you want to say that or should I? <laughs> so, so the first place prize is $1,000. Wow. 
Yep, and then we have a runner-up second place for 250. So the the cash is there to incentivize everyone right. to come there, and um, you know, even the prize money aside, I just think it sounds like such a fun experience. It and does. to be creating art in our beautiful studio, we have this lovely space in the woods mm -hmm. that we share a parking lot with Weber Elementary. Okay. So it's just a nice, serene, peaceful place to be there creating art. So, and I bet with the young kids, that thousand dollar prize looks oh, yeah. pretty good. I mean, you can buy a a mm. car and you know fix it up and everything mm -hmm. are they doing this and that's the thing are they doing it individually or can they kind of team up as long as they pay the the fee for this uh initial um expression of the the competition okay. everybody's doing it individually okay. let's see what the uh what the um how, how people apply to this and how they work this we could start to do teams we could start to open it up into different media medium too you know like mm -hmm. you wanted to sculpt you want to but for right now since we just got to get settled one. yeah right. mm -hmm. this is your first one yeah so this is this sounds really exciting yeah and then talk to us about the venue where you guys are, are hoping to hold it yep so i kind of touched that on that a little bit it's on um, the orient art center we have two locations this is our studio on clarkson road so mm -hmm. we have our pottery studio there and then we have this beautiful art side to it um just windows, um, you know, ceiling to floor. Okay. Um, we have a nature preserve, um, trails around us, uh, but it's at Clarkson Road and Baldwin Road is okay. where the location is. And then talk to us about the capacity. How many people can this particular um, <laughs> center hold? Um, well, I've seen up to about 75. I'm okay. sure we, we could get more. And um, press, them, press them in. Yeah, them yeah. In. Um, you know, when you're sitting there as an individual with your art supplies, you're not taking up too much space. So I'm mm -hmm. confident right. we'll be able to fit everybody in there. Well, this sounds mm -hmm. like a really good good venture. Anything else that you want to add to, to this? I want to grow this. Mm -hmm. I want this to become a staple for the creative community, and I want to be a part of it. The, I'm a selfish guy. <laughs> I, want, I want to see people feeling that excitement, you know, of a competition, but also starting to come together. I would love to do this as teams. I mean, it would be so cool. Right. So, you know, to me, th that's what's exciting about this, is I want this thing to become part of the creative community of this part of Michigan and and greater over time. When you mentioned Project Runway, I, I automatically, when the bell dings at like um, noon or something, I thought of like Iron Chef. Mm -hmm. Like you've got to take all your ingredients or, or you know put something together. That's it. That's yeah. it right there. Yeah. 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 It's, what's that guy? Tim Gunn. <laughs> um, you know, have, and Eugenia are going to be doing that. You know, we're, we're going to be walking around giving people, um, trying to <laughs> inspire people, you know, like, that's a good idea. Or maybe you shouldn't go in that direction or, you know, whatever. Okay. And um, hope maybe you guys will be there too, you know, to just uh, record this and share it with people. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you also, who's judging it? Like, how do you decide who wins the top prize? This year, again, it's the inaugural one, so Eugene and I are going to do it. And we've done plenty of judging discernment. It's not easy. Okay. Um, Is she going to split the tie? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we, yeah, what do you think? Well, with the Art Center, we generally, we have a rubric um, okay. pre-set before the event, so it's, you know, it's fair, and, and we have those guidelines on, you know, what the judges are looking for, and, and the host, you know, the goal, it, what will be accomplished through the rubric. Okay. So it's all pretty standard, and laid out there beforehand. Nice. But as it mm -hmm. grows, and it will, mm -hmm. we're going to invite judges um, yeah. from out of town, you know, too. Right. So that's another thing, too. I'm glad you mentioned out of town, because right now, this is geared toward Lake Orion, but if people from Oxford or Rochester or Oakland Township want to partake, they can do it as well. Yeah, we've been to schools out of town. We're inviting people. Uh, you want to come here from Ohio? You go right ahead. Okay. And we're, yeah. we're, um, Hawaii? contacting professors too at different universities throughout wow. the state too so we're hoping that it'll just you be a open up both yeah <laughs> just be a little creative hub here in southeast michigan and get as many people as we can to come here okay well give mm -hmm. us the dates give us the dates for for the event. february 3rd and 4th mm -hmm. 10 a.m on the third to noon on the fourth then we'll spend a couple hours judging and then we'll have the uh, the awards sometime after that yeah. You can find all the information on our website, too, which is orientartcenter.org. There's a button on there for 24-hour art challenge, and everything you need to know is in there, how to apply and um, to register for it. You know, this is going to be cool. Yeah. you got to get in here. Yeah, it, it really sounds, it sounds amazing. I, I actually have a small, tiny background in art. Mm. I, you know, it's, it's, I, I need to go out there. So mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to participate in the competition, but to just walk around with you guys as you do it, I think yeah. that would be really 
sometimes that's the best way just to leap right in and yeah. you know get yourself I'm back in there. Leaper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a leaper, but I'm telling these guys they need to yeah. leap. Yeah. Just take the leap mm -hmm. and do it. So thank you guys so much for for coming in. I think that it's a it's an excellent event. We'll put up all the information so that people can sign up and hopefully you guys get you know let's say a circle of, of more than a hundred people cool to be a part of yeah. that. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Absolutely and thanks you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>